Hello everybody, welcome back to another installment of STC Virtual. I'm super excited this week to bring you a scene from The Battle of Waterloo, written by Kylie Caldwell. I'll be joined by a very special guest, Luke Carroll. Hi everyone. Luke and I uh, appeared in this production alongside each other down at the wharf in 2015. Uh, this is a little reunion scene between the characters of Cassie and Ray after Ray's release from his three year prison stint. And it takes place the night before Cassie's TAFE fashion design course showing. Now come here. You know how much I love you, Cass? I love you too much. Always have, always will. Have you been charging up again? Oh, come on, Cass. I'm trying not to get too drunk. I only have a couple just to take the edge off. Yeah, well, you got stinking breath. I hate the smell of stale grog. Go wash your teeth. Come here. I'm serious. Okay. Okay. Jeez, what's a man got to do to get a dory around here? Mm. Mm. So do I, do I get front row seats to your show, Bubba? Depends. If you show up. I'm real proud of you. You know that, don't you? What do you reckon? I know that already. I'm just reminding you, that's all. I'll never stop reminding you. <laughs> You're cracked. I know that, but this crack man loves you and is so proud of you. I want to dream us a world where we always wanted it, but we never found until now, I promise, bub. What are you talking about, Ray Ray? I mean, I'm going to man up for you, bub. I'll do anything for you, you know that, don't you? Come on then, let's hear it. What? Your big news. Well, what is it? Where's my kiss first? Ray. <sighs> you know my mate Danny? I just scored myself a job within five days a week. True. I start tomorrow. So you happy for me, Bubba? Well, what's the job? Construction, baby. His dad owns a scaffolding company and remembers me from my football playing days. He wants me on the team. Hey, mad, hey. And where's my kiss? Hey. Mwah. I'm happy for you. I do love you, you idiot. You know that. Yeah, I know, right? Because Arnie would have kicked me out weeks ago. Mm. Yes, I love this song. <laughs> yes. Come on, dance with me. Knock it off. Come on. I used to picture you and me dancing together in the middle of my cell when I was locked up. I'd lie there on my bed and just stare at you in the middle of that cell. My eyes can't real hard in the darkness. I was picturing you standing there and we'll dance to our favorite songs on the CD you got for me, Bubba. You got me through the nights, Bubba. All three years of them. I'm glad I helped you out. Did more than that. I'm sorry. What for? For not coming to see you that last year. It hurt me too. I didn't know what to do. It was getting too much. Cass, look, you don't have to go there. I don't expect you to explain yourself. Not now, anyways. Let's talk about something else, eh? Okay. Are you coming tomorrow night? Where? The show that I've been talking about on the radio all afternoon. Oh, that's right. My man had other plans. And I was training, Cass. Of course I'm coming. Well, you better, Ray. I want you there. I want you to see what I've been doing all these years you were gone. I can't wait to come. I'll be right there in the front row with Auntie, cheering on, cheering you on, singing out glory, glory to our queen cat. <laughs> glory, glory to my sexy Cassie. He Ooh. can't sing out. It's not a football <laughs> game, you mad mulliga. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to make love to my baby when she stops talking back to me. Ah, uh, Ray, you know you love it. You fat dog, Margie, I'll get you. That's just for starters, you hear? Ah, sissy, bloody hell. You're never alone, are we? You want to get rid of her? She's getting too wild. Yeah, tell me about it. I can't deal with her crap right now. Not the night before my show. Cass, sis, let me in for freak's sake. You want me to tell her to go away? Cass, are you there? Let me in. Go on, open the door. Bloody hell. One stuffed up dory. What's a man going to do to get one stuffed up dory around here? Jeez. 
thanks for watching everybody. I hope you're all safe and well. And if any of you find yourself in a position to do so, please donate what you can to STC or your favorite theater or the Actors Benevolent Fund. Thanks again and see you next week. Bye. Bye.